Hello and welcome to Unite and Prosper, where we will not be divided or conquered. And while you're watching this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and share, share, share. Who is Kamala Harris? Who's the master? Well, let's start with, uh, nope, not a good photo. Mm, numbers, numbers again. Whoops, I'm sorry, but I just can't. Let's try this again. Whoops, how'd that get in there? Sorry, bad hair day. Let's try one more time. Ah, oh, that's better. Everyone loves puppies. But anyway, let's start with California. After college, she began her law career as the DA of Alameda County and later moved to San Francisco as the DA. And of course, with her being a Democrat, she has no problem getting elected in California where it seems the only qualification for winning an election is having a D next to your name. While being the DA, a couple of things she pushed was, of course, stricter gun laws. They love strict gun laws. And the ever-so-popular transgender, gender-affirming surgery for convicts paid for by, you guess it, the taxpayers. Now, in 2019... She ran for president, where she dropped out of the race due to not getting one single delegate. She wasn't very well liked, even by the Democrats at that time. Then she became Joe Biden's running mate after Biden said he was going to pick a black female. No worries about qualifications. He just wanted a black female for his president or vice president. I'm sorry. Everybody still thinks Kamala was president. But anyway... After lying to the public for almost four years about Biden's health, Kamala is now his replacement for the Democrat presidential candidate. Well, let's hear from Kamala Harris herself back when she was running for her president in 2019. First of all, let's see what Kamala thinks about plastic straws. Yeah. Do you ban plastic straws? I think we should. Yes. Yep. She thinks we should start using them paper straws. You remember them nice paper straws that would, you know, disintegrate every time they got wet? Them paper straws that came in plastic wrapping? <laughs> yeah, she wants to have that nationwide. And now let's do a little leap to where she was the vice president. And, uh, of course, take another leap to now where the uh, was she or was she never the borders are. One time they say she was, one time she's not. Well, now she's not, but she was. Uh, well, let's get it straight from the horse's mouth. Uh, sorry, Woofy, but <laughs> this is the view, okay? The view talking about Kamala being the borders are. Take it away, Whoop. Yesterday, President Joe Biden said that he's putting his vice president in charge of the situation at the southern border. And Kamala Harris laid out her plan to take the lead on it. Take a look. There's no question that this is a challenging situation. Uh, as the president has said, there are many factors that lead president to leave these countries. And um, while we are clear that people should not come to the border now, um, we also understand that we will enforce the law and um, that we also, because we can chew gum and walk at the same time, must address the root causes that, uh, that cause people to make the trek, as the president has described, to come here. And so now already there are accusations that the administration is limiting access and some Republicans say Biden's passing the buck to her so she has a big job ahead of her. I mean, they didn't care so much when, you know, they just threw Betsy DeVos in there or, you know, Ben Carson to take care of HUD. So I, but this has freaked them out beyond all measure. And so, yes, she has a big job and, you know, she just finished taking care of COVID with the president. She just finished getting all the stuff done. So now she's taking on something else. And well, that was, of course, you know, back in 2020, you know, the, the COVID year, everybody had to you know, be at home. But th they didn't actually say the word border czar, but they did say that Kamala was in charge of the border, which I would consider that being the border czar. Wouldn't you? Okay, let's go back to 2019 when she was still running for president. So, Kamala, what do you think about banning fracking? And what do you think about destroying for oil altogether? There's no question I'm in favor of banning fracking. 
So, yeah, and, 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 starting, and starting with what we can do on day one around public lands, right? And, um, and then there has to be legislation, but yes, and this is something I've taken on in California. I have a history of working on this issue. And to your point, um, and, you know, the, we have to just acknowledge that the residual impact of fracking is enormous in terms of the impact on the health and safety of communities. Yeah, so thank you. So would you ban offshore drilling? Yes, and I've, again, worked on that. <laughs> Well, here's Kamala on what she thinks about the new Green Deal. You know, that crazy global warming, uh, global cooling, or I mean, uh, cl uh, climate change uh, bill that's going to cost trillions and trillions of dollars. Well, let's see what she thinks about that. I am supporting the Green New Deal. We have to have goals, and we have to, it's a resolution that requires us to have goals and think about what we can achieve and put metrics on it. Some of them we'll achieve, some of them we won't. But if we don't aspire, we're not, we're gonna, this is gonna be a bad ending. And I hate to sound this way, I don't wanna sound like an alarmist, but it is very real and it is within our power. And you know, in California and in so many states, we've seen at a state level, it makes a difference. Oh yeah, worked in California. Is that one of the reasons they have such high gas prices, taxes, regulations, people are leaving in groves to other states, they can't afford it there? California. <laughs> I wouldn't want to compare anything to California if you're trying to prove a good point. And here's two videos with Kamala talking about ice. The first is her not actually saying it, but pushing towards comparing ice to the KKK. And the second video is her on MSNBC talking about tearing down ice and starting from scratch. And Kamala seems to think that less is good, meaning the fewer law enforcement we have means fewer crimes will happen. I'm not sure about that, but uh, we already know she wants to get rid of illegal border crossing as a crime, but it seems with the millions of unvetted illegals that has crossed since 2020 that it already isn't a crime to cross the border illegally. Are you aware of the perception of um, many about how the, the, the power and the discretion at ICE is being used to enforce the laws? And do you see any parallels? I do not see any parallels between sworn I'm talking about perception. officers and agents. I'm talking about perception. I, I do not see a parallel between what is constitutionally mandated as it, as it relates to enforcing the law. Are you aware that there's a rights. perception? I see no Are you aware that there's a that perception? That puts ICE in the same category as the KKK. Is that what you're asking me? Are you aware that there's a perception that, that ICE is administering its power in a way that is causing fear and intimidation, um, um, particularly among immigrants and, and specifically among immigrants coming from Mexico and Central America? Are you aware of that perception? I, I do not see a parallel. During our conversation, I asked her about the growing calls from progressive activists to abolish ICE. Take a look. A lot of the signs at the rally you just held were people standing there saying, abolish ICE. Yeah. Is that a position that you agree with? Listen, I think there's no question that we've got to critically re-examine ICE and its role and the way that it is being administered and the work it is doing. And we need to probably think about starting from scratch because um, there's a lot that is wrong with the way that it's conducting itself. And we need to deal with that. And for the last video, and believe me, I could have many more. This video shows, just like the last two, how she's so up for illegal immigration. She wants to give them free health care. And we all know when a politician says free, what they actually mean is paid for by the taxpayers. Just think the millions that we already have in this country illegally, along with the many, many more that would run here for that free stuff, well, there's no way we can afford it. We will turn into a third world country faster than Venezuela, which was about 10 years. The bill also says, quote, every individual who is a resident of the United States 
is entitled to benefits for health care services under this act. Not every individual who's a citizen, but every individual who's a resident. Mm -hmm. So you support giving universal health care, Medicare for all, to people who are in this country illegally? Let me just be very clear about this. I am opposed to any policy that would deny in our country any human being from access to public safety, public education, or public health, period. Well, there you have it, straight from Kamala. And now that she's running for president again, the media will keep all this info hidden. Or they'll say, well, she might have been for that back then, but today she's a totally new, changed person. <laughs> and this is the same media that for the past four years lied to the people about President Biden being as sharp as a tack. Well, I sure appreciate you sticking with me and watching this video. And be sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and share it as much as you want. Thanks again, and have a great day.